Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll take a look at what happens when we shift the demand curve to the right, holding the supply curve constant. With that said, let's get into it. So we'll start off with the general supply and demand curve, our axes, our supply and demand lines, and then we'll label everything. Once again, price is on the vertical axis, quantity is on the horizontal axis, P star and Q star denote my intersection of my supply curve, which is upward sloping and it's in blue, and my downward sloping demand curve, which is in red. Now we need to take a look at a demand shift factor. So here I have an example. The price of a complementary good has decreased. So we know that the price of related goods and consumption, so complements and substitutes, will shift the demand curve left and right when their prices change. In this case, the price of a complementary good is decreasing, which is going to shift my demand to the right. In this case, the price of the complementary good has decreased. And if you need an example, think about peanut butter and jelly. Imagine you consume these together all of the time. Well, if the price of peanut butter goes down, then you will demand more jelly. So this will shift the demand curve to the right as you can see here. We would denote this by demand prime, and this just tells us that this is the new demand curve. Now you'll notice that P star has increased to P prime, and if we follow this along to the new intersection, it's right here. And you'll also notice that Q star has increased to Q prime, and we can follow this up to the new intersection point where demand prime and supply intersect. Now you'll notice here that both P and Q have increased. And no matter what, this will always happen when demand shifts to the right if supply does not move. That is to say that as long as supply does not move, if demand increases, then both P and Q will increase 100% of the time, no matter the magnitude of the shift, whether it's big or small. We have other videos on the channel looking at different shifts left and right of both supply and demand. So if that's something that interests you, please locate those videos and I hope that you find them helpful. If you found this video helpful, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know in the comment section what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you in the next.